Greetings and welcome back to Banished. So the last time we did, well, yeah, everything I suppose, seeing as that was uh, the first episode. But we ended with building the uh, hunter's cabin for some leather and the tailor's workshop. So that we can get some uh, clothes for all our people, seeing as we are living on a harsh uh, place. So they will need all the clothes they can get. And uh, next up, I guess I'll be building a blacksmith, seeing as we see these little icons pop up here because people are lacking uh, tools. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look. Where is this thing? The blacksmith. I always uh, forget where things are. Here we go. Blacksmith. So we gotta place this somewhere. And. I guess I'll place this one still here, but I uh, sort of want to start building in this area as well. So I'll be expanding over there eventually, but still we have uh, plenty of buildings to build. This uh, village will become rather big, so there's no rush really. Let's uh, put this... I want to put this on this side. That'll work. And eventually I'll probably have some mine over here. I did uh, check and uh, it would fit. I hope I didn't put the blacksmith in the wrong position. No, so uh, I can fit the mine over here and I can fit the few back here. So that'll be uh, totally fine. But I don't need a mine yet. I just need to gather a bunch of iron from uh, around here. It's a very big map, so we got plenty of resources just on the uh, surface. But in the meantime, I suppose we can go collect a bunch. So that we are ready for the uh, construction of a bunch of tools. Let's take a look. So we need... We still need stone. That we apparently don't have. Uh, we will have plenty of iron and... Hopefully the forester's lodge can provide me with logs. So let's just... Gather a bunch more stones. Uh, I'm actually not sure if they can cross this uh, this little stream here by foot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them harvesting a bunch of things from around here. As I said before, I don't want to harvest everything in a uh, in bulk. <laughs> I want to collect the patch here and there so that things look a little natural still. You got a bunch of rocks spread out. I think that's nice. Eventually, when the town grows bigger, all these uh, little patches of rocks will disappear anyway, as, I'm be build as I will be building on top of them. But for now, I'm gonna do it this way. And we still got two builders, that's plenty. Seeing as it is pretty much the maximum that I can get. Oh no, well, that I should be getting, seeing as only two people can build this building simultaneously. And this person is complaining that there's not enough leather. Which makes sense, we only have... Well, actually we do have two hunters. We will be getting a bit of leather, but it's not really that crucial at this moment. I just uh, gotta make sure that I keep up with the amount of new people that I'm getting. I'm actually getting a lot now. I got 16 adults, so... Uh, you know what, I'm gonna build... I'm gonna build a new house. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be... Extending the road back here. Let's see, where did I put this route? <laughs> it's difficult to see. I'm not sure. Let's uh, go this way, perhaps. And I'm just gonna build another house over here. Another wooden house will do fine. There we go. We should have uh, enough, I hope. Let's see, we need a bunch of stone and logs. We should be getting enough logs. And I'm gonna have to wait and see how much stone they can all collect. Let's actually pause this one so that they focus on the blacksmith first. So that I can make tools for all my guys. As you can see we got, uh, we got two people lacking tools. That's not great. I guess that's simply because they used up all the ones that I received at the start. I think most of the tools that I got are still working for the people that I uh, 
that I have walking around. So it's just that I didn't have enough. So I don't think any tools broke just yet. We are uh, all about uh, two or three years into the game. I guess it's uh, just the start of the third year now. I think it starts in the summer. I'm not entirely sure. But it's not that important, I suppose. Now we have enough iron, almost enough stone, so they should be building this thing pretty soon. This little stockpile is actually filling up rather fast. I might need to put another stockpile somewhere, but it's working for now. We got a bunch of firewood. Can you actually store firewood in the storage barn? I'm not sure. And someone took all the food. I hope I have enough. Let's take a look. So these people have food. Uh, this person only has venison, but uh, quite a lot of venison, so that's okay. Is this actually a hunter? Yes, it is. Okay. And this person doesn't have enough leather. Let's take another look at how this one is doing. Yeah, we are still getting leather, so that's alright. We actually have 12 stored cloths now, so that's nice. And uh, they will be making up to 50. I think that's alright. That's a nice number. Although I really won't be needing 50 at all, but eventually I will. Right, now we need a blacksmith. Let's uh, upgrade someone, or well, uh, promote someone, I suppose. Now someone apparently has become the blacksmith. This person here, Ali. Well, you go ahead and make some uh, tools. I don't want to make too many actually let's just uh, set it up to about 15 that seems fine I don't want them to use up all the iron and locks for the for the tools and let's pause this house and we can slowly start to expand the town One thing I really like about the game is that despite the fact that uh, you don't uh, don't have any diagonal or or curved roads at all, it still very much looks natural because you kind of build in a very organic way. I think this is partly due to the fact that the buildings don't have a set range. Every building can operate with it wherever it is, only it will operate a little more efficiently if it's close to whatever it, uh, other building provides it resources, but still, I think that uh, makes it very nice. And you also need to place things somewhat logically, since I just uh, mentioned that it works better if you place it close to the resource source. Is that even a term? Resource source? <laughs> Alright, how are these guys doing? They are uh, collecting a bunch of stuff, that's nice. Not uh, too many logs apparently, but I guess I kind of have to wait until all of this uh, forest area has been has been fully grown. And I also only have two people in here, so I kind of guess that makes sense. I could uh, put up another forester. I can afford that, I have plenty of laborers that are probably not doing all that much at the moment. So how's food? This person now has some food, alright. We have some reserves. So... And we already... No, no, we don't have enough locks, so yeah, it's a good thing that I uh, promoted someone to be a forester. Now, what else can we do? What do we need? I guess I could use a herbalist next. I was gonna place this around here as well. Somewhere in this uh, forested area. Let's build a herbalist. Let's gather her. Herbalist, there we go. Currently we have a low food supply. Right, where do we build this? Right next to this. I guess that could work. Yes, that's fine. Or uh, let's let's uh, rotate it. Gonna have to cut some... Uh, have some... I don't know non-grid-like structures <laughs> when it comes to the roads. Something like that. I want to have some uh, small roads going uh, 
everywhere. It's not exactly like corners are a problem back here. After all, this isn't uh, city skylines. <laughs> Everyone is a pedestrian here. At least I think so. Unless maybe the colonial um, mod adds uh, cards with uh, with horses. I don't think so. It would be nice though. But I don't think so. It does add ships. But I haven't really played with that yet. I, uh, the earlier version of the colonial charters mod that I played with didn't have ship ships, I think. At least I never got to the point where I could find out. <laughs> I did play it with it uh, a while. So I know uh, some of the buildings, but not all of them. They have added quite a few. So I know how to make ropes. I know how to... Uh, also knew that you could use the uh, beekeeper to brew some uh, stuff with. Some uh, meat, I suppose. The apiary. Yes, that's the one. So you could use that to... Uh, oh yeah, it was a food item, but normally you could have used it for alcohol. I'm not sure if that is still the case. I guess the distillery might be able to um, make the honey into... Where is the brewery? Okay, now it's getting complicated. So the distillery is for, the, uh, is for spirits. And we have the winery for wine and the brewery for beer. So I'm thinking it would rather be the brewery that would turn honey into mead, as it is maybe the winery. No, I think it's a brewery. If that works at all, that is. So how's this per uh, how's this thing progressing? We have enough stone. We just need a bunch of logs. That should happen eventually. Luckily, we do have a lot of stored firewood, which is nice. Oh yeah, and we built a new building back here. So we got two people of uh, age 20. That seems very appropriate. And they have uh, a bunch of food, not all that much. Hopefully they can... Oh, we, we still have a lot of stored food, so that's all right. And we are now up to 19 adults. Only one child. So, yeah, we'll need a bunch of uh, children again soon, so that we don't have any problems with the uh, generations, because if you, for example, would not expand at all, then you might have some issues with there being a whole couple of years where you don't get any new adults, but a lot of old ones would die out, and then you might get some problems with uh, providing your whole town with all the uh, necessary things. And that's kind of something I really like about the game, that you have to uh, grow things in a natural way. Otherwise, you might have issues later on. Right, so now we got a herbalist. That will help our people get some uh, extra health, which is very, very nice. I do think extra health also makes them a bit more productive. And same with happiness, I think. Do let me know if I'm wrong. I've played uh, with this game quite a bit, but I'm uh, not an expert or anything. So uh, sometimes I'm just guessing, <laughs> hoping that things work logically. So what do we need next? I don't think I start with any seeds at all. Seeing as this was on hard yeah, and we got a lot of snow. I think that's nice. Also, I'm looking forward to see if the new buildings from the from the Colonial Charters mod now actually have snow roofs, because if I remember correctly, they uh, used to not change during the winter. And that was kind of weird, kind of uh, perhaps intrusive if you were looking for something um, that kind of is... I forgot the word. <laughs> something that's... Uh, that gives you immersion. Yes, that's the sort of word I was looking for. So yes, it wasn't very immersive to have some uh, snowed roof and uh, other ones that aren't snowed. So yeah, what do we build next? Nice thing about the game is that you have time enough to check out what you want to build, where you want to build. There's not really any rush to it. 
Seems like we have... Oh yeah, we have enough uh, tools now. That's very good. So, what do I want to build? Oh yeah, something I usually did, but I guess I can't do it here. Maybe I can. Yes, I can still do it. Normally, I put up a separate uh, specialized stockpile next to the forester and the uh, woodcutter. Now, of course, I can't do that anymore since I don't have any space. So I guess I could just put it behind it. Yes, that'll work. So we have a wood stockpile that we place right behind the forester. Something like that. That'll work. And then we have a fuel stockpile that we put right next to the wood cutter. And that'll look nice. That'll also make sure that we have a bit less uh, stuff stored in this stockpile. So in the end it doesn't really matter all that much. Now, what do I build? What do I need? Perhaps some uh, different food source, although I doubt I already have the gatherer's hut and the hunting cabin. The fishing dock. But I doubt they are very efficient on these rivers. They would be very efficient down here because they have a... Uh, they would have a lot more water in their radius. Uh, let's see, what is it? Yes, as you can see, this one would have a lot of water when it's within its radius, but if you put it down a river, it would be uh, a lot less, which would make it quite a bit less efficient. I guess it would be best to put it on an area like this, where you have uh, some uh, bulge in the uh, riverbank, so that you have a lot more water right next to it. But do I build one? I'm not entirely sure. I guess I could. Let's see. I can actually build it very far inland. Okay, that'll do. So if I build one right there, I gotta build a road as well. But let's uh, let's just plop it down. Like that. Alright. And let's build up a road. That'll give us fish as well. That way all my people will have a, a reasonably varied diet. They'll have meat, they'll have vegetables, they'll have fish. And they'll have it every day. <laughs> That's almost something that we nowadays don't even have. Unless you go to the market every day or every two days. But then again, markets aren't exactly very common anymore. At least not in urban areas. Alright, so I think probably be needing why is that's odd it was already oh wait this is builders okay i actually forgot that you could specify how many builders per building that's uh, nice to know i did used to know it but now i know it again so <laughs> that's good so we'll have a uh, fishing building we have enough stone that's good So what's next? I guess eventually... Uh, let's take a look at the ages of my people. So they're in their 30s. It's still okay. Once they get into their 40s or 50s... Uh, well, I guess more like in their 50s, they might start dying. And then I'll be requiring to build a uh, cemetery. And a chapel probably as well. Let's see. Uh, parish house, I guess it is. It's some sort of a chapel, I suppose. Not sure where I'm gonna build it. Not even sure if I'm gonna build it right now. I don't think I need it yet. I also don't think this... Uh, this has nothing to do with this cemetery, so it's something completely separate. I guess I could build one over here. And then next up, I build the rest of the town up here. Or it could also be somewhat more into the town. 
Let's just extend this road. Then you can see what we do next. So what's all this glassworks? Charcoal burner. I don't really need that at the moment. Uh, ropery, I guess uh, I could use eventually, but I don't have hemp or flax. So that's kind of an issue. Silkworm hat. Oh yes, these guys. But uh, you do need silkworms to start this off, I think. Apparently you can get it from an oak heart. That's, uh, that's very nice, I didn't know that. Uh, we got weavers. That's kind of the uh, upgrade from a tailor, I suppose. I guess it's kind of big. No, it isn't. It's uh, the same size as a tailor. So this is uh, for flax, cotton and silkworms, and this one, uh, this one can't use leather, I guess, so that at least makes it so that you have still a use for the tailor, that's good. We also got the shore house, this is something that I don't really know what it does, I think it's new, or new-ish, at least I haven't uh, played with the version that had it, or I forgot. That's a very big possibility. Okay, let's assign a fisherman for uh, this area. I'm not sure how much yield we will be getting. We'll have to find out. Looks like we have reached the limit for the uh, firewood as well. It's very nice. And it's actually piling up here now. That's exactly what I wanted. And the same thing back here. I think it looks nice to put it next to these buildings. That's one thing this game does very well, it's that everything sort of blends in nicely. Despite the fact that everything is still very uh, rectangular, it still looks very natural. So that's very good. Right, now I'm gonna have to think about the next sort of project. The fisherman's hut wasn't exactly a very big project. <laughs> uh, I guess I could go for a trader so that I can start collecting seeds yes that's a good idea so where is the trader that's worth oh let's take a look and ah, there we go that's a ship <laughs> do we actually get the ship for free or not it's rather small although I guess kind of these uh, ships don't have to be that big Especially considering the fact that it's supposed to be a uh, a ship that has to sail on uh, these small sorts of rivers, so that makes sense. Right, where is the trader? As I mentioned before, I always forget where everything is. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> Luckily I have time. Um, let's see. Okay, let's just go over it all. This is all storage, so that shouldn't be it. Um, schoolhouse. We never uh, built a well yet. I guess I could start doing that. To put out fires, although we don't really ha have had a fire yet. But uh, it might happen eventually. So let's, uh, let's put this somewhere. I'm kind of looking for a decent spot. Um, Alright, let's put it right there. That's fine. Now, back to the trader. Where are you? Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, I guess we're using it all for the well. I'm guessing I might have looked over the trader a couple of times by now. <laughs> well, that's bad. But uh, in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna assign some more people to collect stone so that we can complete the well. Uh, where do we have plenty of stone? 
no, back here. Let's collect a bit here and there. Alright. Now we should have enough to complete the well. I guess I could have moved it up uh, slightly because it does need to be next to be next to a road, but this was already a road. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll have a bit more open space then. That's uh, totally fine. Now, back to the trader yet again. How am I not finding it? I'm... I must not have the best of days, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I'm fairly sure that I've gone over it a couple of times now. alcohol that can be it um, <laughs> the quest for trader how am I missing it ah there we go it was under storage okay that makes sense <laughs> because it was uh, something to uh, well it, it is able to store things but still finally made it hopefully that wasn't too um, too much of a face ball moment. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna make sure that it's not in the way of the fisher's hat. Uh, let's take another look at what its range is. So it's it's coming down here. So let's let's put it somewhere around. For some reason I can't place it there. Well, I guess there could be some rocks in the way, but. That no, it should build on top of rocks, so that's not the problem. I guess I don't really have much of a choice but building it here. How do I build it inland? Yeah, let's build it inland. No, wait, that's not. That's gonna look odd. No, oh, no, wait, it's this one. Cancel. Um, let's do that again. Let's build it somewhat like down here, perhaps. Yes, okay, that's better. And let's extend the road. I guess I can extend this one as well, all the way back here. And well, this isn't very ideal let's uh, let's move this road back here and let's get rid of this piece and what do we got uh, stone reserve yeah we'll have to go chop a bunch more rocks so let's go ahead and do that I already designated those. And yeah, let's get rid of these. So we got a few more kids now. That's good. I'm guessing here. Yeah, we got uh, two new ones. And I guess we might need to build another house again. Can I fit one in here? I doubt it. Let's take a look. Oh, I can. Yeah, it's uh, right next to uh, the hill, so that uh, fits like a glove. There we go. So then we'll get another house for some people to move in and make kids. <laughs> and apparently my health has gone up a little bit with uh, half a heart, so the I guess the herbalist is doing his or her job. I'm not sure which one it is. Let's take a look. Herbalists. Um, male. Okay, so it's uh, his job. I'm guessing he might lack stone and iron. I sh should be uh, collecting a bunch more iron as well. We have plenty of it around here. So let's uh, collect all of this. 
All right, well, I guess I'll be uh, ending the episode right here. We made a bunch of progress and no one died, so <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Uh, next time we can have the uh, trading post operational and hopefully get some seeds and then we can start some uh, farming perhaps. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, uh, I, hope we, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.